The attending neurosurgeon said that there had been a bleed in Jason's brain and the situation was dire, it didn't look good. He likely wouldn't survive the night. And if Jason lived, he was not going to be the same Jason that we knew and loved. Okay. Anything you want to say to the camera? Okay. I would like to introduce you to the same man you just saw in the video, my brother, Jason Krigler. Thank you. You know, I, I don't have any memory for a year and a half. So from August 4, 2004 till the beginning of 2006, I don't remember anything. So the first time I saw this footage, it was a very bizarre experience. There was one thing I, I, I liked initially was that I, I liked my haircut. <laughs> we weren't acting on blind faith. Um, every now and then out of this fragile person came a sure sign of the guy that we knew. I could very easily go down the road of getting angry that this happened or getting depressed that this happened. And I'm making a choice not to do that. And I'm making a choice to see what happened to me as something that has led to enormous opportunity in my life to share this story and to help other people. And so I'm choosing how I want to see this. And I think anybody can choose how they want to see anything. The book's on the shelf Some straight up and down Blankets of dust Finger but left untouched Finger but left untouched I think that works Just the opposite of Carrying stones to church Carrying stones to church I lost my voice
unraveling pages. The poem I wrote. Stuff's in the cracks and laughs. Stuff's in the cracks and laughs. <laughs> 